Most people start their online business with big commerce. And it is indeed a good place to start with, considering it gives you the option to have unlimited products and bandwidth, and it gives you sleek storefront designs. But your next step towards expanding your online business is migrating your shop to Shopify. Shopify is the new star in e-commerce platforms. Most solid online shops go with Shopify because of the included feature set and built-in scalability. So what are you waiting for? It's time to expand your online business to a better and larger platform. If you are hesitant to migrate your store to Shopify, here are some reasons why you should. First of all, Shopify provides a more stable server. Because of this, you will not have to worry about store downtime. Second, Shopify is extremely simple to use. Shopify manages all of the servers, upgrades, and code maintenance issues, so you don't have to worry about those anymore. Moving on, using Shopify enables you to have full control of your online store. It is hosted by Shopify, but extremely customizable. With their impressive template engine and API, you can fully customize the online store platform to your needs. Next, there are extensions or plugins available for Shopify you are allowed to install any of the plugins and extensions to add additional features to your online store. Adding extensions is incredibly easy. It just takes a few clicks. Last but not least, moving your online store to Shopify is also simple. It should take less than an hour to move all the valuable information from your old store to Shopify. And this includes the product details, orders, images, and so on. The interface of Shopify is much simpler than other platforms. It's tremendously user-friendly. Now I'm going to lead you through the process of migrating your online store to Shopify. It doesn't really matter which platform you're moving your store from, the whole procedure is more or less the same. But in this case, I'm going to use BigCommerce as the example. So let's begin. The first step is you will need to create a Shopify account. Shopify offers a 14-day trial account for new users. You can start a trial account first, hosting your online store as well as testing the platform. And then, after the trial, pick the right Shopify plan for your store. The options are this, the light plan for $9, basic for $29, pro for $79, and unlimited for $179. Step two is to configure your Shopify store. You have two options, an online store and a retail store. You'll need to choose one of them depending on the nature of your business. If you pick the online store option, you will have a fully hosted e-commerce website. On the other hand, if you pick the retail store option, you'll get to sell in person using an iPad or iPhone point of sale system. After that, fill in your basic information such as your address, which sets up your tax rates and currency. And then once complete, click on the next button to proceed to the next page, where you will need to specify whether you're already selling or not, and if yes, which platform you use the most, and so on. Follow the steps and then click on the Enter My Store button to complete the step. This step happens only after you've finished up the trial plan. You will need to choose a Shopify plan and link your account to your credit card. As I've mentioned, there are a few plans from $9 up to $179. Pick one of the plans that suits your business and select your payment method. Then click on the Confirm Charges button to complete this step. After you've picked the payment plan, the next step is to choose the theme you'd like to use for your store. It's almost impossible to move the exact design from your big commerce store to Shopify. However, Shopify does offer various themes that you can browse through and customize. If you like your branding, you can choose a theme that is closest to the design from your big commerce store. There are a number of templates available on Shopify. I'm sure you'll find one that works for you. Templates make it easier for you to visualize what your own Shopify store will look like. The previous steps are all about setting up your Shopify account and designing your store. Your store migration hasn't taken place yet. The next step is for you to install the migration app in order to move the information in BigCommerce to your new Shopify store. The app you want to install is called Cart2Cart, which can be found in the Shopify App Store. 
The app itself is free of charge, but the price for each migration costs $69. But the cost is definitely worth it because the app allows you to transfer your product details and images, the categories in your old store, customer data and shipping information, orders, manufacturers, and product orders. Moving this valuable information from the old store to the new store in Shopify would be painful to do one by one. With this migration app, moving all this information is just one click away. It's extremely easy to use. Click on the new cart to cart user tab and fill in your information. Remember that this is a different account from Shopify, so you're registering under the cart to cart app. And before migrating the information, of course, you will need to configure the source and target carts. There are three option tabs on the left part of the page, which are Source Cart Setup, Target Cart Setup, and Start Migration. In the Source Cart Setup, tell the migration where all your data is coming from. In this case, you will choose BigCommerce as your source, and then add in the URL link to your old store. Moving on to the Target Cart Setup, you will need to fill in here the new platform that you're going to use, which is Shopify in this case. So copy and paste the new URL link to your Shopify store. Follow the next steps and then click on Start Migration. And then you will get to choose the entities that you would like to migrate from the old platform, such as product details, manufacturers, customer information, orders, and so on. Click on the entities you wish to migrate. You can unclick them as well. Then click on Proceed to Next Step to select the currencies for the migration. Pick your currency and click on Proceed to Next Step. Next, you are able to migrate your order statuses from your old store to Shopify. Shopify wants to ensure that the migration happens orderly. Because these status tags have different names, it's best for you to walk through all of the order statuses to make sure the details are correct. And this will let you keep the old order statuses even after you've migrated to your new store. In this next step, you will need to manage the domain name. For this, navigate to the Online Store tab in your Shopify dashboard. Click on the Domains option on the left and click on the Add an Existing Domain button, which is located in the upper right corner. Fill in the URL to your old store and click on the Add Domain button. After you transfer your old store to the Shopify site, the domain name will be different from the old one. You definitely do not want your customers to go to the wrong place with an outdated store. What you can do to solve this problem is by setting up a redirect rule to direct the traffic from your old store to your Shopify store. And how you do this is by installing another app from the Shopify App Store. And this one's called Traffic Control Bulk Redirects. This app costs $39 and it lets you redirect your traffic from the old link to your new link. One thing you need to make sure of is that the links are all set up correctly. And then that's it. Now you're done migrating your store from BigCommerce to Shopify.